What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we have some brand spanking new Destiny and Destiny 2 news and information to go over. Now that's because the Bungie weekly update has just been released, detailing some new official information. And so, let's get started. Now, this weekly update is a special one because it is officially less than a week until the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere livestream on May 18th. And Bungie and Deej, who was writing the article, Deej, our community manager, was very anxious and very excited to announce this fact. He says, quote, the people working on Destiny 2 are more anxious than the players they're eager to serve. It's been more than a month since we've first revealed an attack on our city, referring to the world premiere trailer. Now, we're going to show you how we'll fight back. At this hour, the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere is officially less than one week away. Now, the sentence that stood out to me, and by the way, guys, he talks about Destiny 2 for a little bit here, and we're going to really analyze it. And I'll admit, we may be speculating pretty hard here, but I can't help myself. It's Destiny 2, I love talking about it, so let's dive right into it. The sentence that stood out to me is, Now we're going to show you how we'll fight back. That can be interpreted a couple of different ways, and I think, firstly, it kind of gives us a neat little example about the overall story arc in Destiny 2. The city's been invaded, you're going to regain your power, strike back, defeat the Cabal, liberate the city. Most of you watching probably thought that would happen. And this quote is definitely kind of conferring with that, is really backing that up. We'll show you how we'll fight back, how we'll fight the Cabal back. Now, the interesting part and why I'm mentioning that is we didn't have to defeat the Cabal in Destiny 2. We already know of two more expansions that are coming to Destiny 2, aside from the base game. It was entirely possible, and in fact there was a pretty big theory going out there, that we won't fight back against a Cabal in Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is all about getting your power back, exploring other parts of the galaxy, finding allies, and then perhaps in an expansion, will actually take the city back. This quote kind of goes away from that theory, and I think it kind of lends more credence to the fact that the Destiny 2 package is very neatly wrapped up in taking the city back. So that's kind of interesting there. Deej then goes on to continue talking about Destiny 2 and says some more pretty interesting things. One of the most interesting things and something that, again, definitely stood out to me is this quote here. For some time now, while you've been exploring the world of Destiny, we've been building new worlds and packing them full of action and mystery. So that's actually really, really interesting and actually pretty telling about the Destiny 2 experience, I think. Firstly, the fact that he literally says, we've been building new worlds. That's a good sign. That tells us that there's probably going to be places we haven't been before. This is backed up by the mention of unexplored worlds in an Amazon listing when it was talking about Destiny 2. And we've seen this happen a few times where they keep mentioning unexplored worlds here, new worlds or new locations, stuff like that. It really does seem like we'll be able to go to places we've never been before. You can't claim Venus is an unexplored world. I explored it, like I've been there. So hopefully we'll get to go to some of the places like Europa, which is an icy moon of Jupiter that Bungie actually commissioned this concept art for. They were thinking about going there at one point. Perhaps Pluto, perhaps places we've never been before, and that's very exciting. And also, I think something that is really interesting in this quote is the end of it. We're packing them full of action, and mystery. Why did he say mystery? Mystery actually kind of seems weird. When you think about it, if you're writing about Destiny 2 and you're talking about, yeah, we've packed these worlds full of action and adventure or action and loot or action and a million other things that you would think he would use to describe Destiny 2, right? But he uses mystery. Mystery. That is really telling. 
there has been some mysteries in Destiny, some really good mysteries. The most recent one was the quest for the Outbreak Prime exotic pulse rifle and how the community had to work together and discover the source of the ARG codes and then discover where these monitor locations were and all of this stuff to overcome the mystery of finding that exotic. There was also the mystery of the black spindle that was just randomly put into the game. You had to do a special daily mission and there was no clues indicating that this would be a thing. The community had to discover this. That's mystery. But Destiny has kind of been edging away from mystery as of late. Uh, there was no hidden quest weapon like the Black Spindle in Rise of Iron. There was the Outbreak Prime, but there was no Black Spindle or even the No Time to Explain Exotic Pulse Rifle. That was another mystery, how you found that. The Sleeper Simulant was a mystery for a long time as well. So perhaps Destiny 2 will have more of this stuff will step away from just the arguably blunt experiences within Destiny. Here's how you get an exotic, pop a million three of coins and farm, get out there and get that stuff, son, and have more mystery and have more actual things that we don't know how to get. Exotics that no one has any idea how to get and we have to go out and find the key to these mysteries. I think that's pretty interesting. The use of that word is definitely really interesting and I think it tells us a little bit about what the Destiny 2 experience will be like. And the last quote that really stood out to me is this, we've tackled the immense responsibility of earning the right to put a number on the box. That to me is interesting because it refers to we earn the right to put the number two, Destiny 2, on the box. And what that quote says to me is that Deej and hopefully Bungie as a whole are very aware that people are expecting a sequel. People aren't expecting Destiny 1.5. People aren't expecting Destiny the Big Expansion. They're expecting Destiny 2 a proper revamp, a proper introduction of new things and new gameplay experiences. And the fact that he outright says that is a really good sign. Like, I know a lot of people out there are kind of worried about Destiny 2 because the Destiny 1 launch was, let's be honest, less than amazing. However, I really do think that Destiny has improved over time and then it looks like Bungie has learned their lessons for Destiny 2. And again, saying that, saying that we've had to earn the right to make this a proper sequel, that means that hopefully there will be a bunch of new stuff that makes Destiny 2 a totally different experience. Now moving on from there, we get into the Destiny 1 news and information. Firstly, Bungie talked about an ongoing donation opportunity uh, for charity that will net you some in-game rewards. So, Bungie is hosting a charity event for the Treehouse Foundation, which uh, helps foster kids in the Seattle area. Now, I've kind of done a video on this, but essentially, you can earn this, the Eye of Eternity player emblem in Destiny, a pretty exclusive emblem, if you donate $50 or more. Now, all the way up to $500, you'll actually get to eat lunch with Bungie. L literally, you'll get to eat lunch with Bungie. $250, you get to play with a Bungie dev. So there's some pretty interesting rewards if you do want to help this charitable cause. As long as you donate before Sunday, May 21st. Now moving on from there, we have information about the next Bungie Bounty. This is a public event that if you join against the featured content creator and beat them, you get an exclusive emblem, and if you join with them and win, you also get that emblem. The featured content creator is a Rex in the region of the United Kingdom at 10 a.m. Pacific on May 13th on the Xbox One. I'm sure a lot of people are very happy to hear that. It's been PS4 dominating these bungee bounties. The playlist will be Control. And so guys, that is it for all of the Destiny and Destiny 2 news and information from the weekly Bungie Bounty. 
Earlier today, there was actually new symbols for the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock in Destiny 2 that were revealed, perhaps indicating new subclasses or how these classes are being looked at in Destiny 2. I've made a video on that and there should be an annotation popping up right now. Definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't. But as for this video, that's all we're going to cover. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative, please remember to support it by liking and especially sharing. If you want to see more Destiny and Destiny 2 content, be sure to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.